something that can bring you fame and power like you've never imagined. You're gonna turn me into a frog. So be it. And now, for you, who for so long scorned the idea of a connection between medicine and the forces of good and evil. Like I think he's going to croak me. Oh, Scooby-Doo, where are Get out of my way! Yesterday I got to dreaming about a recipe for my love. Took all the things I was feeling, things around us just not enough love. I tried to try find out the secret for my recipe. All of these things could make up my baby and what my baby means to me. Yes, I've done a whole lot of dreaming, but it's no fun when things ain't what they're seeming. I love my baby and my baby loves me. Then why do you love my recipe? Painted me a face like Mona Lisa, put some magic in the smile. I wish I had a Scooby snack. Oh, all this now the world started copying my style. Shaggy, Scooby, thank goodness you're safe. You mean, thank Scooby we're safe. What I'd like to know is why Hyde was after you, Shag. Maybe he was like after these suction cups. I found him in the fruit bowl. Sounds pretty silly to me. What would he want with a handful of suction cups? Beats me. But with the clues we have so far, it's for sure the ghost of Hyde is a 24-karat phony. And we know who that 24-karat phony is. We do? Now it's our turn to scare the hide off of Hyde. For he is an ugly bad fellow that nobody can deny. Stop me if you dare! <laughs> into the trick trap. <laughs> Blame Jekyll. He kept me in prison, afraid to let me out. Now it's my turn. Edward Hyde is free once more. <laughs> It worked! He's heading for the back door! And the trap door! We got him, Scooby! Oh, nice 
nice catch, guys. Now to unmask this phony hide. And if our calculations are right, it should be Helga, the housemaid. Dr. Jekyll! So it really was Dr. Jekyll behind the ghost of high jewel robberies. It sure was, Sheriff. When all his crazy experiments failed, Dr. Jekyll decided to turn to a life of crime. But one thing he didn't count on was us following him into the marsh. And like when he figured he might be caught, he came up with the idea of framing Helga the maid. Shame on you, Dr. Jekyll. First he told us that phony story about the formula. Then he planted a bunch of fake clues for us to find that would make it look like Helga was the ghost of Hyde. Hmm. His plan almost worked, except that Shaggy found the suction cups, which turned out to be the real clue. But when he tried to get them back and keep Shag from telling, everything backfired, and he ended up caught in one of our traps. But why were the suction cups such an important clue? Show him, Scoob. Okay. Dr. Jekyll had to use the suction cups to scale the buildings. If Helga was really the ghost of Hyde, she wouldn't have needed them because she was an ex-circus star. Hey, like, look! Scoob thinks he's a circus star, too! Oh, no! Scooby's gonna fall! <laughs> I gotta admit, that's some act! Scooby! <laughs> Well, at least he's at peace now. Yes, a small consolation. Dreadful business. Dreadful. We all know that buried here is our friend, Dr. Jekyll. Not the monster Edward Hyde, as the authorities think. I suggest we should tell no one of what we know. It would serve no purpose except to blemish the reputation of a fine man. Besides, who would believe it anyway? Indeed, who would believe it? I think we should go. Go rest your soul, Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> <laughs>